Hi everyone and welcome back to Sumi Learns. If you are new here, my name is Sumi and on my channel I try to learn something new every week. A few weeks ago I did a video where I cloned myself and a bunch of people asked me if I could share how I did that. So this week that is what I would be doing. To clone myself, I used a software called Shotcut. It is a completely free editing software. But before we get into the editing, we need to talk about filming because the process of cloning yourself starts from being intentional during filming. So the first thing to note is that you would need to film two scenes if you have two clones. So one as clone one and one as clone two. An important note here is that you must not move the camera, not even an inch, while you are filming the scenes or between the scenes. Just leave the camera filming even as you change outfits for example. Because if you move it, it will be quite difficult when editing to put the two scenes together. Along the same line, you want the two scenes to have the same lighting. So you might want to film at a time when the lighting isn't going to change much. So maybe closer to the evening or on a cloudier day. Okay, so now since you didn't turn the camera off during filming, you would have one video footage and you can go ahead and import that into Shotcut. Then you drag it to the area that is called Playlist. Once in the playlist area, you can drag it to the video section below and go ahead and create another video track by clicking on the three horizontal lines and selecting add video track. The reason you are creating two video tracks is because you are going to split the video into two. So one for clone one and one for clone two. For this video, I just wanted it to be a simple conversation where the first clone says, hey, hello, and the second clone says, hi. So during filming, I just said hey as one clone and I left a little pause imagining someone beside me saying hi. It definitely gets a little complicated if you want to have a longer conversation with your clone, such as in my original clone video. For that one, the key was to already have a script written and when I say one sentence, I pause and say the other clone's sentence in my mind, then I move on to saying my own line. Anyways, back to this footage. So what you want to do now is to make sure to edit your footage. So cut it into the two scenes and place one of the scenes below and make sure that the words line up the way you want it to line up. So for example, I made sure that the hello from clone two followed immediately after the hi from clone one. And of course, you also need to make sure that your clips are of the same length unless you plan for one clone to be there initially and then the other one to join in. So now if you play your video, you would notice that shortcuts would only play the video on the top, but we want both videos sort of merged. So to do that, you go to filters and you click mask simple shape. And as you play with the different parameters here, you would start to see the clone from the other clip. The width and height are especially important, I think. If you increase both of them, you start to see more of the clone. But you definitely have to be careful not to increase the width too much, or you run the risk of sort of erasing the other clone. This is why also during filming, you need to make sure to leave a good amount of space between the clones, because it will be really difficult when you are editing if there is not enough space and you increase the width because the other clone would be erased. Another important metric is this softness bar, which you can increase or decrease. So if you happen to film the two scenes at a different time, where maybe the lighting in one of the scenes was different than the other one, then softness can help you. So if you adjust the softness, you can sort of change the lighting and maybe make it look more realistic. But again, you need to be careful with that one because if you overdo it, you might end up erasing one clone. Okay, and finally, if you are satisfied with your video, you can export it. So you go to File, you click on Export Video, and in the tab that shows up on the left, you can click how you want to export it. So I would select YouTube. Then you go to Advanced and click on Codec. I like to increase the quality to about 85%. And finally, you can click Export File. So now I'll show you all the final video. Hello. Hi. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you stay notified whenever I post a video. Bye!